guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 2 Lesson 1 Homework. So this is the first lesson of Grade 4 Module 2, so let's get started. Number 1, find the equivalent measures. So 5 kilometers to meters. So we know that 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So then we're going from big to small in, the, in A. So then to go from big to small, we multiply. So 5 times 1,000 is 5,000 meters. And B, 13 km to meters. We just multiply by 1,000. That would be 13,000 meters. And C, 30 multiplied by 1,000 and got 17,000. So then if we want to go back to kilometers, all we have to do is divide. 5,000, which will give us 17, oh, there you wrote that there, kilometers. And then D, 60 kilometers, multiply by 1,000, that would be 60,000 meters. All right, and E, 7 meters to centimeters. So, 1 meter has 100 centimeters, so let's keep that in mind. So then that means 7 meters to centimeters, we just multiply by 100, which will give us 700 centimeters. And 19 meters times 100 is 1,900 centimeters. And now that here they have 2,400 centimeters after multiplying by 100. So if we want to find the meters, we divide by 100, which will give us 24. And H, we have 90 meters times 100 would be um, 9,000, oops, 9,000 centimeters. All right, and number two, find the equivalent measures. All right, so seven kilometers, 123 meters equals blank meters. So we already know the meters, but here we just have seven kilometers and then one km equals 1,000 meters. So then seven times 1,000 would be 7,000. So then 7,000, and we already know the 123, so plus 123. So this would be equivalent to 7,123 7, meters. And B, 22 kilometers, 22 meters. 22 kilometers times 1,000 is 22,000. And then we have 22 meters, so that's all right, and C, 875 kilometers and 4 meters. Well, 875 times 1,000 is 875,000. And then we just have 4 meters. All right, and D, we have 7 meters, 45 centimeters. All right, so 7 meters times 100 is 700 centimeters. And we already know the 45 centimeters, so we just add that. To get 745 centimeters. And E, 67 meters times 100 is 6,700. And then, oh my god. And then we already know the 7 centimeters, so this would be our answer. And then um, F, 204 meters times 100 is 20,400. And the 89 centimeters, so then our answer would be 20,489 centimeters. All right, and number three, solve. All right, so here we have A, 2 kilometers, 303 meters minus 556 meters. All right, well, first things first, we have to, um, we have to find um, and change this and make this into meters. So two kilometers is um, two times a thousand. That's 2,303 meters. And then we're doing subtract 556 meters. Three minus six, can't do that. Borrow 10. 13 minus six is seven. Nine minus five is four. Two minus five, borrow 10. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 1 is 1. So then our answer is 1,747 meters. 
And B, we have 2 meters minus 54 centimeters. Well, 2 meters, first right. 2 meters times 100, that would be 200 centimeters. So our real thing would be 200 centimeters minus 54. So we borrow 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 5 is 4. And then 1 is just 1. So our answer is 140. Um, six centimeters. And see, um, expression answer in the smaller unit, 338 kilometers, 853 meters, plus 62 kilometers, 71 meters. Let's go and convert this into meters. So, 338 kilometers times 1,000, that's 30, 338,000 and then 853 meters plus 62 kilometers would be 62,000 and then 71 meters. So three plus one is four, five plus seven is 12, eight plus one is nine, eight plus two is 10, three plus six is nine plus one is 10, and then three plus one is four. So your answer is 40,000, uh, nine, four, Wait, hold up. Uh, 400,924 meters. All right, and D, express your answer in the small unit. So 800 meters, 35 centimeters. 800 meters times 100 is 80,000. 80,000, oh. But then 35 centimeters, so then that'd be 80,035. Minus 154 meters would be 150. Wait, oh, uh, we should write this. 154 times 100. That's. Hang on. And then there's 49 centimeters. All right, so now let's subtract. Five minus nine brought 10. 15 minus nine is six. And then, oh, where was I? Two minus four brought 10. 12 minus four is eight. Nine minus four is five. Nine minus five is four. And seven minus one is six. So then our answer would be 64 1,586 centimeters. All right, in E, we have 701 kilometers minus 523 kilometers, 444 meters. So 701 kilometers would go times 1,000 is 701,000 kilometers. Minus 523 is 523,000 and then 445 meters. So zero can't subtract five. So we take the one, that becomes a zero. Then nine, 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 10. So 10 minus five is five. Nine minus four is five. Nine minus four is also five. Zero minus three, can't borrow 10. 10 minus three is seven. Nine minus two is seven. And six minus five is one. So our answer is 177,555 meters. All right, and F, we have 231 kilometers, 811 meters, plus 485 kilometers, 829 meters. All right, so let's first uh, convert that. 231 kilometers is 231,000 meters, and here we have 811 meters, plus... 485,000 meters, and then 829. So one plus nine is 10. Two plus one is three plus one is four. Eight plus eight is 16. Five plus one is six plus one is seven. Three plus eight is 11. And then four plus two is six plus one is seven. And if you put a comma here, then that would be 707. 16,640 um, meters. Not to box that. 
Alright, and then now the next page. This is the um, page. Use a tape diagram to model each problem. Solve using a simplifying strategy or an algorithm and write your answer as a statement. Number four. The length of Celia's garden is 15 meters, 24 centimeters. The length of her friend's garden is 2 meters, 98 centimeters more than Celia's. How, what is the length of her friend's garden? So let's first convert this all to centimeters. So 15 meters, 24 centimeters equals 15 times 100 is 1,500, but then can we get about 24? All right, so that's Celia's garden, and then her friend's garden, two meters, 98 centimeters, is the same as two times 100 is 200, and then plus 98 centimeters, that's 298. So the length of her friend's garden is this much more than Celia's. And we know this 1,524 is Celia's. So to find her friend's garden, we add Celia's garden to 298. And that will give us 4 plus 8 is 12. 2 plus 9 is 11. Plus 1 is 12. 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 1 is 8 and one bring it down so that means um that's our answer so the length of her friend's garden is 1822 centimeters all right number five Sylvia ran three kilometers, 290 meters in the morning. Then she ran some more in the evening. Oh wait, also for number four, we didn't do the tape diagram. We kind of draw on the side to show. So C for Celia is 1,524 centimeters. And then her friend is more. So then her, I know we know her friend is at least 1,500 24, but she is 298 more. F, F for friend, so we're trying to figure out how much her friend was. All right, so um, five, Sylvia ran three kilometers, 290 meters in the morning, then she ran more in the evening. If she ran a total of 10 kilometers, how much, how far did she run in the evening? All right, so tape diagram. So in the morning, she ran three kilometers. You know what, we could first convert that. So up here we write 3 km, 290 meters, equals 3,290 meters. And then if she ran a total of 10 km, 10 kilometers, is 10,000 then how much does she run in the evening all right so in the morning she ran 3,290 then she ran some more in the evening so that more we put a question mark because we don't know how much more she ran but then she ran a total of 10,000 meters then how much does she run in the evening so we can do 10,000 minus 3,290. So zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus nine, power of 10. 10 minus nine is one. Nine minus two is seven. Nine minus three is six and zero, we just leave it zero. That means um, in the evening she ran 6,710 meters. So Sylvia ran 6,710 meters in the evening. All right, and number six, Jenny's sprinting distance was 356 meters shorter 
Then Tyler's. Tyler sprinted a distance of one kilometer, three meters. How many meters did Jenny sprint? All right, so Jenny, she, okay. So first let's do T for Tyler. And let's actually start by converting our measurements. So one kilometers, three meters, one times a thousand is one thousand and three, thousand three. So Tyler sprinted one thousand three meters. So then Jenny, J for Jenny, was 356 meters shorter. So we're trying to figure out the question mark. How much did she spread? Well, we can do 1,003 subtract 356 because that's how much shorter Jenny's distance is. 3 minus 6 borrow 10. 13 minus 6 is 7. 9 minus 5 is 4. And 9 minus 3 is 6. And 0 just leaves 0. So that means Jenny sprinted 647 meters. That means Jenny sprinted 647 meters. Should we get food? All right, and number seven, the electrician has seven meters, telling three centimeters of electrical wire. He used 551 centimeters for one wiring project. How many centimeters of wire does he have left? Let's first start by converting. Seven meters, 23 centimeters, equals seven times 100 is 700, plus 23 is 723. So now let's do our tape diagram. So we know he has a total of 723 centimeters of the wire. He used 551 centimeters for a project. So how much centimeters does he have left? So we're trying to figure out the question mark. So we can do 723 minus 551. Because that's how much he used. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 5 borrowed 10. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So our answer is 172. That means he has 172 centimeters left. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!